back again with another DIY. This time it's a DIY of a chopping board in your photo spray. Plus, there's a bonus of laminating your photo at your house and of course, it is the best for us. If you're interested, stay tuned. Without a further ado, let's move on. Select the photo for the photo frame this or this. Let me go with this. Get a sheet protector, A4 size, it just costs 5 rupees per sheet. Tear apart and clean the surface. Place the photo and rub similarly how you would apply this gray card. This is done to remove the air voids. Place it on the old cloth. Sandwich the photo and the sheet protector between the cloth and iron it until there is a good bond. This took me around 5 minutes, not more than that. Ah, don't forget to keep a handy cloth. I have worn my fingertips. Plus, it tend to be overheated than expected. It's done to remove air voids. Here you go. Trim the excess sheet protector, leaving 2 cm gap. At the edges, go ahead and cut square pieces to give a nice finishing. This is how it looks. Fold the sides and iron it on all those sides. Here's a DIY laminated photo. There's a small difference between laminated photos and the DIY photos is that they have a matte finish and ours has a shiny surface. I'm okay with it. Place the laminated photo, mark the corners. Come up with some good caption for the DIY chopping board frame. Erase the markings. Go ahead and stick the DIY photo. So here comes Mr. Dictionary. Finally, he got some job after years of rack. Hey, Mr. Google, don't underestimate the power of Dictionary. Acha, bye bye. Take the baby. Do you think it's done? Now, paint it black. I've used the sponge because it gives a matte look. Paint the rest of the chopping board. I'm using a fabric glue. You can go ahead and use any glue. Sprinkle some glitter. I haven't used stencil because that gives a font so unique to each one of us. Let it dry. Stubborn glitter particles can be removed using a brush. Ah, this patch. I had the my long back painted on a fabric and the ends are trimmed. I believe it suits me a lot. A panda with a heart. You can use any of your favorite stuff to decorate. Glue it and you're done. I hope you love watching. Create your DIY and don't forget to tag me. Until next time, love you all. Take care. Thank you for watching.